On the surface, the Mad Bomber had an ordinary life. 23-year-old Mark Condit grew up in a small town 20 miles outside Austin. For most of life, he was homeschooled and worked as a computer repair technician. It's hard to imagine. It's surreal. His childhood was filled with happy episodes. Inside Edition found this home video on his father's Facebook page, swimming in a lake with his father and sisters during a 2009 family vacation in North Carolina. His mother posted photos from a family snowboarding trip and the day he completed his homeschool education. I officially graduated Mark from high school on Friday. Thanks to everyone for your support over the years. Condit went on to attend classes at Austin Community College. For a course he took on U.S. government, he wrote a blog that, in the wake of his bombing spree, reads like a manifesto. Under the title, Defending My Stance, he denounced abortion and gay marriage. Why gay marriage should be illegal, he wrote. Homosexuality is not natural. I spoke to forensic psychiatrist Dr. Keith Ablo. What could cause him to want to do this? So many of these assailants feel disenfranchised in some fashion. Socially, they may feel ostracized. We haven't heard a lot of people coming forward saying, this man was my friend. Some people feel so isolated that a kind of rage can build up, a kind of really uh, an antipathy for all other human beings in a way. Former Navy SEAL and bomb expert Jonathan Gilliam says in his final days of life, Condit went on a frenzy of terror that made his capture inevitable. He wanted to get out there. He wanted to get as many bombs out there as he could. And he was on a rampage. And he wasn't wasting time in between bombings. No, he was, move he was moving at a much more rapid pace, which also makes you wonder, um, was there some kind of gain from doing this as quickly as possible and getting as much um, of these explosives out to intimidate these people. Now people are wondering if Condit was inspired by the Unabomber, whose 17 year long reign of fear was recently depicted on the TV series Manhunt Unabomber. Hey, Kaczynski's the Unabomber. Leroy Berenson and Gary Wright were targeted by the Unabomber in the 1980s. They are shocked to see a bombing spree happening again, but thankful it's now over. It's uh, kind of scary. Uh, Knowing that it could happen anywhere, any place now. Hopefully the community just comes together as best they can. I mean, it's a, it's a thing that no one can prepare for.